It is officially the first Monday of the NFL season, which is thrilling because it means that we're all analysts. We're all experts in football. We hear it all, and we're probably a little bit critical ourselves if we're football fans. We talk about the blown calls, the missed throws, the missed blocks, all the things that are very obvious to us that they're not doing right. It's all part of the game, right? The problem is we're not on the field. You and I aren't stepping foot on the field. We're not taking the hits. We're not making the blocks. We're not blocked by a six foot three man that we can't see over. We're not on the field. Neither is the they that's in our lives and that we worry so much about. This video is a quick reminder to you of the danger of they in our lives and our businesses and how we can overcome that. My name is Patrick Menefee and I'm here to help you improve your money, your mindset, and your mission in order to help you become the best possible version of yourself. Now, this is a part of a video for a newsletter that I release every two weeks. So if you'd like to join that, you can click on the link in the description and subscribe. I want you to take a minute. I'm going to use some football analogies. Replace football with whatever sport you want. I want you to take a minute and think about Patrick Mahomes. He's had an incredible NFL career. Probably the greatest quarterback currently playing, which is hard for me to say as a Packers fan. Imagine if he never stepped foot on the field. Imagine if he let that fear of critics, of they, of the Monday morning and armchair quarterbacks, what if he let that fear prevent him from ever stepping foot on the football field? Maybe he gets drafted and yeah, just decides not to show up because he's scared. It's ridiculous, right? But how often do we do that? How often do you do that? I know that I've done it before. I know that I've done it in the way that I've shared on social media. I've held back from occasionally things that I've wanted to talk about because of fear. I had a hard time getting started on social media and sharing and talking about what I do because I was afraid of what people would think. It's natural, but it's all about they. And we let they control us. We let they stop us from our dreams. There is no they. That's the big secret. There is no they. Now, my encouragement and and one major thing that I did that helped me to overcome they is put a face to it. When you start to do something, when you feel that fear, you feel that, well, they're going to, maybe sometimes you say, well, they're not going to like this or they're going to judge me or they're going to think it's stupid or they don't think I'm good enough. Who is they? Put a face, put something to they and figure out who that is. Maybe they is a family member. Maybe they is a colleague. What I found for me personally, as I started to think about it, I had a couple of different personas that popped up in my head. I had people from the army that I was friends with that knew me then, but don't know this version of me now because we haven't been as close. I had colleagues in real estate and in business in general that I was afraid were going to think that I just wasn't good enough to talk about the stuff that I'm talking about. And I had friends and family. And what I realized is as I start putting a face today, now I can debunk each one of those. Fear is irrational. So we need to find a way to get rid of the fear. And and one good way that we can do it is by debunking it. When I think about my friends from the army that I fear may judge me because they don't know who I am now as much, I then thought about a couple of my friends that have reached out that fully support what I'm doing and have shown that support to me. And they've actually said that they appreciate what I'm doing. I don't need to worry about that fear. That's stupid. I think about friends and family. A lot of them, the majority of them, even if they don't understand what I'm doing, they love me anyway and support me. So that's not a big deal. And a lot of the people that if I'm worried about perceptions and opinions, they're especially of colleagues or of other people in the industry. A lot of times I don't actually truly care what that person thinks, but I let they get in my head. I let they hold me back. I let they stop me from getting on the field. I don't anymore. I've worked through that and I'm continuing to work through that. But are you? Do you have a they? Do you have hesitation, fear? Do you have something that's holding you back from stepping on the field? Because I know that you are capable of doing something great. You're capable of becoming someone great. You're you're capable of creating an amazing life for you, for your family, for the people around you, and for helping people. But you've got to step on the field. And in order to step on the field, you've got to overcome that fear. So I encourage you, one, What are the things that you're not doing because of fear of they? Number two, put a face to those days. Who are they and how can you debunk them? Because it's probably bullshit. And three, go do it. Go step on the field. If this is helpful to you, I encourage you to like this and subscribe so you can be notified when the next video comes out. Like I said, I do the 
newsletter every other week. And then I also release a YouTube video every other week too. So subscribe, like, comment, share anything that you experience with this and any takeaways that you have. And I will see you next week.